ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng magustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Jello is a visual communication student of UP Diliman, College of Fine Arts. His interests include drawing, dancing, and listening to classical music. Gerald is a student of NPC, studying financial management, likes Nicki Minaj and Beyonce, loves working out and exploring playgrounds. Pauline is a tourism management student of Bestling College. Her hobbies are watching K-drama, singing, and listening to music. Si Cyril naman ay isang IT student from Datamex College of St. Adeline who loves watching BL series. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in, hopefully with correct answers which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the only ocean that is named after a present-day country? Cyril. Indiana. Indiana is Malay. And Steve, anyone? Okay, no one got the correct answer. The answer is Indian Ocean. Okay, next question, number two. The 2023 Film Fast X is the 10th installment of which movie franchise? Cyril. Fast and the Furious. The Fast and the Furious is correct. Key check. Next question number three. In what sport did Brian Harman win the British Open by six strokes over Filipino-Australian Jason Day? Swimming is male. Boxing. Boxing is male. Pencil steel. Okay, no one got the correct answer. The answer is golf. Which city in Metro Manila was named after a certain St. Peter as well as the low tide? The correct answer. The answer is Makati. Question number five. What university do the Soaring Falcons of the UAAP play for? Cyril. Adamson. Adamson is correct. K-check. Number six. In what present-day country did the October Fest Beer Festival originate in 1810? Cyril. USA. USA. USA is Malay. Overfest. No one got the correct answer. The answer is Germany. Okay. Number seven. In geometry, what do you call a polygon having seven sides? Sorry. Pentagon. Pentagon is Malay. Like to steal? No one got the correct answer. The answer is heptagon. Okay. Number eight. Who was the queen of the United Kingdom before Charles III ascended to the throne in 2022? Cyril. Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II is 
Correct. Okay, check. Number nine. Mental math. What number is two-thirds of 24? Cyril. Six. 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 Six is mali. Tuli. Four. Four is mali. No one got the correct answer. The answer is 16. Number 10. In recent events, a type of invasive large lizard has rampaged through Thailand, raiding farms and damaging the environment. What is the name of this reptile which is dubbed as the largest lizard in the Americas? No one got the correct answer. The answer is iguana. Number 11. What is the name of the cat in the Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies cartoons that chases Tweety Bird and often says, Suffering Sokotash? No one got the correct answer. The answer is Sylvester. Last question for this round. In 2022, the island nation of Tonga was devastated by a large wave created by an earthquake. What do you call this wave which is Japanese for harbor and wave? Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round one. Okay, after that round, we have Cyril in the lead with 40 points. Okay, so mahaba pa naman ang araw, pwede pang humabol at magpakitang gilas ang ating mga contestants. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, Prof. Glessy, balita ko may tanong karo kay Jello. Oo, meron akong tanong kay Jello. Jello, ang balita namin, marites lang ito. Oo, mahilig ka daw sa classical music, nakikinig ka daw sa classical music. Ah, ngayon po, naging hobby ko po sa, ano, kasi kapag gumagawa po ako ng plays, kasi kapag alam ko, na, alam ko na po yung song na pinapakinggan ko, madidistract ako. So, kailangan ko uh, makinig sa ibang music naman para tuloy-tuloy lang yung gawa ng plays. Galing. Okay. So, y- yan ba yung dahilan kung bakit nahilig ka? Kasi bihira na yung mga ganyang kabataan ngayon eh, yung nakikinig okay. ng classical music. Actually, hindi naman po siya hilig. So, kung baga, ano, naging... Ano, part ko na din po siya ng routine sa every week ko po. Ayun. Okay, naku, maraming salamat at tutuloy mo yan. Go na go. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you, Jello, for sharing that. And may iba pa na mas nakaka-focus nga sa pagtatrabaho o pag-aaral kapag may classical music na pinapakinggan. Ibaling naman natin ang focus natin sa round 2 sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo sa ating scores. Leading pa rin po si Cyril with 40 points. Samantalang at tatlo natin makasama ay kailangan pang humabol. Pero may narinig po ako sa bayo ng isa sa mga contestants natin na gusto ko pang mas maitindihan. Gerald, how do you explore fragrance? Um, nung pandemic po kasi is na, na matagal po yung lockdown. So, Doon po, pag may extra money ako, pumupunta ako ng online shop. Then, naghahanap ako ng iba't ibang klase ng perfume. And bawat na perfume na mabibili ko is ino-observe ko po siya pag ginagamit ko. Paano mo ino-observe? Ano yung natutulong niya um, sa um, Ginagamit ko siya for everyday use. And then, it, ino-observe ko kung paano umi-effect sa skin natin yung bawat perfume na ginagamit ko. Ano next action mo dyan since na-explore mo na? Um, Siguro bibili po kasi ako din ng ibang perfume na rin kung ah. kung ito ba naglolo, nag, naglolo ang lasting sa skin natin. Okay, thank you so much. Very interesting. Ngayon naman, explore natin ang round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin.
This is round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Which daughter of Academy Award winner Will Smith recorded the hit song Meet Me at Our Spot with The Anxiety and Tyler Cole? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Willow Smith. Question number two. What is the title of the 2023 blockbuster movie about the father of the atomic bomb? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Oppenheimer. Question number three. Which U.S. state did Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. live in for five years and visited in November 2023? Uh, Cyril. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. K check. Question number four. Joseph Buakai was recently elected president of which African country whose capital is Monrovia? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Liberia. Question number five. Which 1976 novel by Anne Rice was turned into a 1994 movie where Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt first acted together? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Interview with a Vampire. Okay. <laughs> Question number six. Which strip of land on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea, having an area of 365 square kilometers, became the scene of daily warfare beginning October 2023? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Gaza. Question number seven. Most of the world's biggest icebergs in 2023 came from which continent? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Antarctica. Question number eight. Which crown prince of the kingdom of Luzon commanded of Filipino forces in the Battle of Manila of 1570 against Spain? Magellan. Uh, Virgin, ay, uh, Magellan. Magellan is Malay. Anyone would like to steal? Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Raj, Raja Sulaiman. Or Raja Sulaiman. Question number nine. In what Southeast Asian country did the Tet Offensive occur in 1968? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Vietnam. Question number 10. What is the home state of the Rangers which won the 2023 World Series of Baseball over the Arizona Diamondbacks? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Texas. Question number 11. Which Egyptian queen was the great royal wife of Pharaoh Thotmos II and ruled Egypt to great prosperity? Cleopatra. Cleopatra is Malay. Anyone would like to steal? La, the answer is Hatshepsut. Last question for this round. In 2021, Good For You became a number one song in more than 20 countries for which Filipino-American singer? Gerald. Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo is correct. Hey, check. And that ends round two. Okay, good job, contestants. So let's see how you did uh, during that round. 
Cyril is still uh, leading with 50 points, followed by Gerald with 20 points, Pauline with 0, and Jello with negative 10. Okay, pero hindi pa po. Tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. to K-Check. Kwetuan mo na tayo, Pauline and Cyril. Ano ba yung motivation nyo kaya sumali kayo dito sa K-Check? Pauline, go on. Sarili ko po, kasi po gusto ko pa pong matry yung ibang hindi ko pa po nasusubukan. Tulad ng pagsali sa quiz? Okay. Okay. Ikaw naman, Cyril. Ano po, para din po madagdagan pa yung mga knowledge ko po. Kasi napanood ko po yung season 1. Parang dami pong pwedeng matutunan from here sa K-Check. Ayan, maraming salamat kay Pauline at kay Cyril. Totoo yan, marami tayong natutunan every episode dito sa KTEX. So maraming salamat sa inyo. Again, recap muna tayo ng mga points natin. Leading pa rin po si Cyril with 50 points, sinundan ni Gerald with 20 points, si Pauline with 0, and si Jello with negative 10. And now, it's the experts' turn to play as quiz masters in our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang katanungan para mas exciting. This is it, guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Okay, this is K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. So, simulan na po natin. Professor Glessy. Hello. Ang tanong natin ay tungkol sa literature, Philippine literature. He was a well-loved faculty member at the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman, and was recognized as a National Artist for Literature in 2006 and was conferred the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Journalism, Literature, and Communication Arts. Who was this poet, dramatist, critic, teacher? A. Bienvenido Lumbera B. Bienvenido Santos C. Bienvenido Galang D. Bienvenido Ramos E. Bienvenido Saludo Pauline Letter D po I'm sorry, the answer is wrong Anyone would like to steal? The correct answer is Bienvenido Lumbera Siya yung writer ng Ramahari. Okay, thank you so much, Professor Neil. Which national artist for literature was a labor leader, was imprisoned for his involvement in the communist movement, and was also married to another national artist? A. Alejandro Abadilla B. Jose Corazon de Jesus C. Amado Hernandez D. Bienvenido Lombera E. Aurelio Tolentino Tanyag siya sa mga panitikang nagsusulong katarungang panlipunan. Kabiyak siya ng isa rin pambansang alagad ng sining na si Atang Dalarama. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Amado Hernando. Thank you so much. Prof. Marla, go ahead. What is the chemical symbol for water? A. W. B. H2O. Siren. B. H2O. Water plays a vital role in the human body. It regulates body temperature, carries nutrients and oxygen to cells, cushions joints, and removes waste. A water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, thus its symbol, letter B, H2O. K-check. History of Lab. This walled city is one of the oldest districts of Manila. It was built on the south bank of the Pasig River around 1571. It was built by the Spaniards and is bound on all sides by moats and thick, high walls. What do you call? Siren. Intramuros. This area in Manila. 
Letter A, Intramuros. Letter B, Indanan. C, Indang. D, Chinatown. And E, Sampalok. The correct answer is A, Intramuros. K, check. Which is not a feature of the Bolen Serrano Agreement signed during the term of President Carlos P. Garcia designed to review the 1947 Military Basis Agreement. A. Appointment of a Filipino commander for the American military bases. B. Flying of the Philippine tricolor over the bases. C. Provision of substantial yearly military aid to the Philippines. D. Reduction of the bases term from 99 to 25 years. E. None of the above. Balikat, the correct answer. Layo ng kasunduang ito na nilagdaan ng Estados Unidos at Pilipinas noong 1959 na isulong ang mga Pilipinong provision sa military basis agreement. Pinungunahan ng kasunduang ito ni na Felix Berto Serrano para sa Pilipinas at Charles Bolen para sa Estados Unidos. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, provision of substantial yearly military aid to the Philippines. Thank you. What is the function of the ozone layer in the Earth's atmosphere? A. Absorbs ultraviolet radiation. B. Generates greenhouse gases. C. Regulates temperature. D. Produces oxygen. E. It has no function at all. Pauline. A. Po. When inhaled, ozone reacts chemically with many biological molecules in the respiratory tract, leading to a number of health effects. In the atmosphere, however, it performs an essential function, which is A, to absorb ultraviolet radiation. K-check. Congratulations to me. Next, Prof. Gessie. Next. Fernando Po Sr.'s name surfaces as one of the more popular models of this famous statue created by national artist Guillermo Tolentino. What is the name of this famous UP marker? Cyril. Oblation. A. Carillon. B. Balara. C. The UP Oblation. D. All of the above. And E. The Kiss. The correct answer is C, the UP Oblation. Okay, check. Congratulations, Tyrell. Prof. Neil. What was the main objective of Presidential Decree Number 1081, signed by President Ferdinand Marcos Sr.? A, Declaration of Martial Law in the Philippines in 1972. B. Implementation of agrarian reform covering rice and corn lands. C. Opening of ba Batasang Pambansa in 1978. D. Plebiscite of the 1973 Constitution through Citizens' Assemblies. E. Passage of Media Censorship Guidelines. Pauline. Declaration of Martial Law in the Philippines in 1972. Letter A po. Layo ng pagpasa ng PD-1081 ang pagtagal sa kapangyarihang politikal ni Marcos sa Malacanang. Inaasahan na magtatapos ang pangalawang termino ni Marcos noong 1973 ngunit pinalawig ng PD-1081 ang kanyang panunungkulan lampas sa two-term limit. Tumagal ang diktadurang Marcos sa taong 1986. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Declaration of Martial Law in the Philippines in 1972, K-Check. Congratulations, Pauline. Marla, go ahead. Which of the following animals is a type of mollusk that typically possesses a single coiled shell? A. Squid B. Octopus C. Snail D. Clam E. Sea Turtle Jello. Letter C. Letter C. These invertebrates move around on a single muscular foot and carry their shell on their backs. They are found on land and in the sea. 
The correct answer is C, snail. Okay, check. Congratulations, Jello. Prof. Lessie? The UP Ayala Land Techno Hub is envisioned as an integrated community of science and technology companies creating a dynamic learning and entrepreneurial laboratory at the very home of young and brilliant minds. Who owns the land where the UP Techno Hub stands? A. The GSIS B. The Tuazon family C. The Duterte family D. The UP system and E. The Simon family. Jello. Letter D. The correct answer is letter D, the UP system. K okay, check. Congratulations, Jello. Prof. Neil. According to the 2020 Census of Population and Housing conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority, which of the following is the most populous Moro? or Muslim indigenous group? A. Maguindanao B. Maranao C. Tausog D. Sama E. Yakan Gerald B. The answer is wrong. Jello. Letter A. Po. Can you repeat your answer? Uh, letter A. Po. Letter A. Sa kabuang populasyon ng 108.67 million 20 census, 7.11 million nito ay napapabilang sa mga Moro o katutubong Muslim sa bansa. Mahigit dalawang milyon ng populasyon ay kabilang sa Moro indigenous group na ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Maguindanao, K-check. Congratulations. Last question for this round. Prof. Marley. What is the primary function of an operating system in a computer? A. Providing security against cyber threats. B. Managing hardware resources and providing an interface for user applications. C. Running specific applications only. D. Ensuring internet connectivity. Pauline. A po. Mali. Gerald. B. The correct answer is B. Managing hardware resources and providing an interface for user applications. K-Check. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Cyril, our K-Check Daily Winner. Congratulations. Congratulations, okay? With your final score of 140 points, you will be receiving that gift pack courtesy of TVUP and we'll see Cyril again tomorrow when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks again to Jello, to Gerald, and Pauline for joining and of course to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessie, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Palakpakan natin sila. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.